All right, it's a typical day at Clef University. We have my bro here, Donovan, just showing some of his video work, photo work that he's doing. We have my bro, Kenneth, back from St. Louis doing all this photography. Guess who's in here? We have folks just having fun. Welcome back to Claflin. And that's what we do. We do production, ladies and gentlemen. It's that simple. It's another day, ladies and gentlemen, at the Dr. Ace's office. We produce content. Never boring, ladies and gentlemen. Never boring. Late the shutter speed, right? So the higher the denominator of the shutter speed, the less light. The lower, the more light, right? So, yeah, that's it. Let's go and move lower. Now, here's a trick. Now, this is something that I also talked about. Remember when we talked about uh, your frame rate? So, we're shooting this video at 30 frames per second. So, what should the shutter speed be? Remember the rule? Maybe 120. It's 60, right? Remember, it's a double your frame double. rate. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Let's go and so then that 30 there should actually technically be 60. So let's go and put in 60 because it's double your frame rate. And now let's click on this little guy. Uh -huh. Now, so that's cool. That's a lot better even though we don't see the results yet. Now what we need mm -hmm. to do is to make sure that we can also manipulate the aperture, right? So we're going to click on the aperture. So the lower the aperture, the more light you're going to bring it in. So let's bring it down. Let's see what will happen. We'll do that. Look at what's happening. Now you can start seeing him. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Ah, so let's go back and so you see him there. Yeah. See, now now we're starting to have some image there. But then the ISO, which is the last um, dial on exposure, needs to be adjusted. So the higher the ISO, the more light you bring it in, right? So mm. It's a little more imperfect, but you can get more light in. So now let's go and click half away. Let me make sure that you confirm, right? And then click half away on your trigger at the front, right? So you can focus. And click and do it. Did you do it? Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? Put this here in menu focus. Let me okay. just change it. <laughs> now do it again. It should work. Oh, there you go. You got it. You see? And if you look here at your dial, can you see that 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 um, the little guy is at the center? Mm -hmm. Can you see? So you went from no... Um, having no usable exposure to perfect exposure by manipulating that. Mm -hmm. You see, it's not difficult. You can do it. Right? Ladies and gentlemen, it's another party at Dr. Ace's office with the work that students do. Felicia, we're recording today a client. Yes. We have my bro here, Zion, editing his music video. Yeah, man. We have the crew there producing a corporate video. We have my bro here producing photographs, taking photos of Jalen, which was awesome. I really liked it. I also got you, bro. I was photographing. Then Asia, I saw you there. I think I got every most folks here. I got you. Yeah, man. This is another day of mass communications, ladies and gentlemen. You know why we rarely see a plane or a boat accident? It's because the airplane pilot and the boat captain have a goal they have a destination so their chances of succeeding are very high the secret of success ladies and gentlemen is your ability to set up a goal and focus and stick with it and move towards that goal the big failures in life are often related to those who don't have a goal who don't have a way to find out where they're heading you have to have that destination in your life if you want to be successful. Success, the secret of success, is one's ability to set up a goal and stick with it. If you stay with that goal long enough, you will be successful. All right, so let's have a candid conversation. We live in a society of abundance in the United States. So if your goal is to be different than others and capture the attention of an audience, you're going to have to be different. So in my case, I'm a college professor, as many of you know, and I don't remember 
college professor in media taking photographs of meltdowns from the ground in HBCUs. When you are a light-skinned Hispanic male, you see that that combination captures the attention of students in my, in my job. What are you going to do to capture the attention of your audience? That's an important question that you need to be able to answer. Kenneth, check these photos out, bro. <laughs> Look at that. Is it like medium format quality, bro? Yeah, no. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> I mean, is there any question the photos coming out of the <laughs> out of the print? Oh, those photos are so good. How do you feel, bro? I feel exhausted. That's how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, that's what media's about, bro. It's a lot of work, but look at the quality that you got in here. Yeah. That's what we're talking about, man. It's still gonna be tough. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, yeah, bro. I got you. Now it's time to post. <laughs> yeah, man. Bro. This? Yeah. So check this out. We're gonna come here. So bring the camera so you can see. This is one of the biggest issues that I see. So I'm gonna put GM here, maybe like Toyota, right? Those two major car brands. Their business model is produce a lot, right? And then they're gonna have some form of a profit. Now understand this: the more that you do something, the more that you produce something the less the value right and how exactly. do we know this well let's look at the compet the competition the competitors so we're gonna put like a bmw here let's like a, a benz and maybe i don't know audi now the price of a gm car price of a ford it tends to be very cheap right yeah. well of course because they produce so many they, they don't play in the world of scarcity, maybe in the best possible way. Don't wonder why their cars cost so little. But I ask a question. So BMW, Mercedes-Benz, and Audi, the Germans understand this. They don't produce as many cars, right? So produce yeah. less cars. <coughs> but what does that do to the price of their car? Their price of their car is more expensive. Is another business model, right? Technically, they have their cars listed at a much higher price, right? They don't produce as many. So now I ask you, would you rather own a Chevy Impala or a BMW 5 Series? A BMW. You, you understand? <laughs> yeah. Produce less, you have a scarcity. Understanding that there's still something called economies of scale. They have to be able to produce this amount of cars to be able to make the profit. But their cars, they sell for a much more... They sell for a premium price because they are less available, right? Mm -hmm. Where GM, Toyota, Ford, and etc., they produce a lot of cars. And what happens to the value of their car? They decrease. So here's the lesson out of this, bro. If you make yourself scarce once in a while, it's different than it's being scarce is different than isolating yourself. But if you make yourself scarce once in a while, you're going to increase your value. You see? Most definitely do. You understand? Mm -hmm. Let's see it, bro. Too much of anything, the lower the price. That's why carbon is so cheap. Less, for example, diamonds, the more the price. This is something that a lot of folks don't see. Maybe I don't know Audi. Now, the price of a GM car, the price of a Ford, it tends to be very cheap, right? Yeah. Well, of course, because they produce so many, they, they don't play in the world of scarcity, maybe in the best possible way. Don't wonder why their cars cost so little. But I ask a question. So, BMW... Mercedes-Benz and Audi, the Germans understand this. They don't produce as many cars, right? So produce yeah. less cars. <clears throat> but what does that do to the price of their car? That price of their car is more expensive. It's another business model, right? Technically, they have their cars listed at a much higher price, 
right? They don't produce as many. So now I ask you, would you rather own? Read the fine print. Learn to say no. There is no free dinner in life. Be true to your principles. Treat everybody with respect. Be the change you want to see in the world. What appears to be, it usually is. Trust your instincts. Write a blog. Eat healthy. Sometimes you have to go to work. Good car is a new car. Don't beg for money. Work for it. To professors, we exist because students exist. There is always somebody better than you. Win big when it's your day. Lose little when it isn't. Love God above everything. You only live once. You might as well do your very best. No matter your competition, no matter the circumstances, you can always do what God has called you to do. Because in this life, if you are playing only on a defense, the opponent who is playing on the offense is going to score. So your goal is to make sure that you call the shots, that you never, under any circumstances, any circumstances, give up, that you do the best you can and always strive to win the big prize. Because those who are second, they are never remembered. We only remember in the society, we only remember first place. So you have a duty to be a